Hi, my name is Franco Sancho. I'm a lecturer in the University of Alicante. And we are going to see the first practice, practice zero, uh, of uh, the this, this subject uh, called marketing, qualitative marketing research. So we are going to see in this first practice how to contextualize a report, a marketing, a qualitative marketing research report, and how to look for sources of information for the first sections of a, uh, of a study. So uh, this is the, well, the first slide that we are going to see. As you see, this subject is, being, is going to be taught by Carla Rodriguez Sanchez and Franco Sanchez Perez. That's my name. If you have any question, you can mail. So let's go into to jump to the to the practical uh, session, to the first practical session of the of the subject. And in this practical session, what we are going to do, as I told you, is to see the first sections of our report. So in the first section, we see that is the introduction of the marketing research, the qualitative marketing research report. In this case, we are going to look for uh, sources. Um, regarding the company that we choose, that you choose uh, as groups to do the study. So uh, you are, we are going to present the topic and also to introduce the company, the competitors, the location, and so on. Basic information of the company, and I'm going to tell you later how to do that. In the second case, in the second section of the, of the report, we are going to deal with uh, the external analysis of the company. And we are going to use the macro environmental, macro environment uh, pestel analysis. So you are going to be in charge of looking for political, economic, social, technological, and legal sources, legal um, factors that could influence or could condition the um, activity of the company that you are going to work uh, on. So we are going to see this in a while. In the, in the third section, the third section is a slightly different. We are going to talk about the, we are going to uh, work on the key marketing concepts that we are going to um, uh, work in during the semester and how they, are they measured. The key concepts that we are going to, to work um, are customer journey map, customer journey, and the customer experience. We are going to talk about this concept uh, in following classes we have also uh, the, um, the we are going to have also the visit of a consultant, a professional uh, that is going to explain this this concept in detail. So it's going to talk about the pestel analysis. Before we jump to Google and Google Academics or Google Scholar, we are going to talk about the pestel analysis. So it's going to think about the information we need to do to need to find to uh, answer or to solve practice zero. In the first section, we need information about the company, history, billing, location, competitors, general information of the company that we are going to work on. So I'm going to tell you later how to do this search. Secondly, the information regarding the pestle analysis. We need to find specific information regarding the company and the context where the company is going to develop their business. Uh, and then we have political factors that are related to the governmental policies, political stability, corruption, and, and so on. Economic factors like economic growth, unemployment, um, wealth of the, of, the, of the individuals living in the region where the activity is being developed. Um, social or, or demographic information that is related to the growth of the population and so on, lifestyles. Technological factors, that means technological developments that are important in our sector and that can be a threat if we don't have it, if we don't develop in the company and can be an opportunity if we do. And the environmental issues are also very important. Nowadays are more and more important because sustainability is one of the most important things in current business. So there should be Factor, uh, there should be factors, environmental factors that can condition our activity, and finally, legal uh, issues. So these are the things we have to work information from. How we are going to find this information? Let's go to see some examples. Let's go to work. We are going to begin with Google. So we are going to begin with, with traditional Google, and we are going to look for important. Information must be useful, relevant, and 
resources must be reliable. And this is very important. Not all the information online is as good as other information. So we have to be clever. We have to um, analyze who is the one gathering the information, uh, how frequent this information is being gathered, and so on. We have to avoid uh, fake news and fake information. So uh, we are going to work, uh, we are going to look for general information available on Google. Also, general, we are going to uh, search in generalist and specialized newspapers. News are quite important for these sections because this can, they can give you a picture, uh, the full picture of what is, what is going on from different perspectives. We are going to look for statistical data and sectoral reports. Sectoral reports are very important because they summarize all the information of the sector where, we are, where, uh, where our company is. And also books and handbooks. Let's go to see how this is done. It's going to open a Google um, page and it's going to put some keywords. So for example, if you want to find, imagine that in our case, we have chosen a hotel in Benidorm. So hotel, hotel, Benidorm. Hotel, imagine, hotel. Okay, if we want to, if we want to look for data, statistical data, we can say statistics, 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 for example, figures, hotel, for example, Benidorm. Benidorm. And this way, we are going to find a lot of, uh, mm, results with information coming from or related to hotels, statistics, figures in Benidorm. As you see, uh, this is the case we are, we are doing this, we are developing this subject in English in Spain. So um, most of the sources are going to be in Spanish, at least the most updated. Number of hotels, numero de hoteles, según categoría. Uh, but there are some, uh, data in English. As you say, the evolution of tourism in Spain, Benidorm breaks its own record. There are, as you see, some different types of information. Interesting. What happens if I want to open this first and I don't want to lose this search? I can click on the right bottom of my uh, mouse and it opens a new window and I say, open in a new window. And the result is open in a new window. Here we can see Statista, that is a website where there is a lot of, uh, there are a lot of figures, interesting figures regarding accommodation and all this. If you find, if you look for uh, information in Spanish, maybe it's better because the company is located in Spain, but we can do it also in English. We have also, for example, El País. The El País is a newspaper. We are going to see later how to look for information in the newspapers. When you check, when you are read in a newspaper, you have to uh, take into account the data, the date of the, because here, for example, this, this uh, new seems interesting, but when we see to February, 2016 is too old. So we see, we need to find information that is more updated. And uh, EP data is also interesting, EP data, now, as we see in this case, this is more updated. It's in Spanish, but as you, as you know, you, we can, it's, it's not difficult to translate websites into English. We also have the EINE.ES and INE base. This is the Spanish National Institute of Statistics. Which if we click in the here, we can see, we can see a lot of statistics regarding to tourist movements, accommodations and so on. So, uh, there are books, there are many things that can be interesting. Instead of, for example, if instead of using uh, statistical figures, Benidorm, we use, for example, Comunidad Valenciana. Comunidad Valenciana is the Valencian region, is where we are located. Maybe there are more information. As you see, Fundación Visit Valencia give us a report that could be interesting. Tourist statistics, we can read and we can use statistics coming from reports. Generalitat Valenciana Turisme, GVA.es is also the, um, like the, 
the regional ministry of tourism of the Valencian community. So you can find information in many places. Uh, the University of Valencia, also Chrono UV, Open Data of Tourist Information. As you see, you can find information. There are many ways to find information. Imagine that we are working, that our hotel is Hotel RH Benidorm, for example. One specific hotel, RH. So we can put the name of the hotel and we can find some information. We can go to the website of the hotel. We can try to gather some information for our report here about the, the, chain, the hotel chain. They talk about the history and so on protocols. In the website, you usually have a lot of information. You can put the website in English as well. It's going to be easier for you. And imagine that we want to find more information about the hotel. Well, let's go into, first of all, let's go into find once again to um, Hotel Benidorm. And imagine we want to find a news from uh, newspapers. So we can put Hotel Benidorm and click here on news, noticias in Spanish, in Google. And we are going to see a lot of news. We can also put different, the different um, factors, for example, political. Political. Political, we can find news that are related to political factors. Economic. We can find some, uh, we can find, uh, for example, economic, uh, social issues. We can see if there are news that are related to, that can be affect environmental. And you can see news that are related to each of the different. We can eliminate, for example, Benidorm. And we can see environmental factors that in general can affect hotels. So we can play with the keywords. Remember to always uh, save all the documents and all the websites you, you download because uh, you are going to need it in the future. So what about, uh, what happened if I need, for example, for example, economic financial information about the hotel or the restaurant or the company that I'm uh, trying to do the stuff. So I can use a database that is available in the University of Alicante that is called SAVI, S-A-V-I, UA. I click SAVI, the first thing is the sub subscription in the University of Alicante. Remember to go to log into this uh, website or to this database, we need to be in the University of Alicante or registered. We click on, on here and it is open. Once it's open, we can put the name of the company, Hoteles RH, or any kind of hotel, RH Hoteles, this is an example. I click on the name in here, and it doesn't find well, Sol Melia, another one. Sol Melia Hotel, this is an example, okay? Uh, if you don't find one, we can find the, the, the commercial name because sometimes the Commercial name is different than the legal name. In this case, we ha I have opened one for you to see. Hotel Solmelia. We can see the location. We can see a lot of information that can be interesting. For example, the number of employees, the profitability, uh, different types of profitability. As you see here, the, um, the income, the evolution. There is a sudden drop in 2020 that is normal because of the COVID crisis. And so on. And we have a lot of financial study and, uh, and accounting information. If we want to download all these reports, for example, for my company or also for the competitors, I can go to export here to Excel. I can put the name down here and I say accept. And in this way, the program is downloading the, an Excel file with the information that I needed to do my stuff. I can export this Excel file and I can use this information to create tables, graphs, and so on. So this is the thing. 
Uh, I think I don't think uh, this the, this database can be seen in English. I don't remember uh, having used this in English. So you have to practice your Spanish to to work with it. So this is one way to download information. Let's go to see another way to find information of companies. Remember that when we were uh, in, for example, we put Hotel Benidorm, and we could put news here, and there was some news. But what about, is there any other way to, go, to find information from newspapers, uh, both um, generalist newspapers, also economics and financial newspapers? Yes, we can go to the hemeroteca. Hemeroteca, hemeroteca in Spanish, if we put UA, University of Alicante, we go to uh, digital press, prensa digital. If we come here, well, remember that in the University of Alicante, we can put the, the website in English, and we can see national press, international press, local distribution. One of the most interesting sources, if you choose a company in the province of Alicante, is Inf Diario Información, Información Newspaper. The University of Alicante is sus sus subscribed because many news in this newspaper uh, are uh, paid uh, news, uh, news. So you have to pay to read. If you are in the University of Alicante, you can go to this link to click on and you can use these users' names as a password. If you put this username and this password, you click here, you can put the username and password and you can use uh, keywords, select some dates, a uh, large interval and find news here and you can read everything. Also, if you find in the traditional, the Diario Información, some new, you can find it here, put it here and read it for the full new without the need of pain. And you can read any kind of other um, newspaper. In the case of Spain, for example, specific and economics and business uh, newspapers are Cinco Días, El Economista, um, Expansión. These are the three more important newspapers in terms of business and, and, and financial and business newspapers. So this is the thing. This is one way to find, to find information. It's going to come back to the, to the um, things we need. We have seen this part. We have seen the specialized newspapers, statistical data, sector reports. It's going to see how to find sectoral reports because this is, this is quite convenient, a quite convenient uh, source of information. Imagine we want to find, I'm going to use the Spanish words, informe sectorial hotel España. If we do this, we can find reports for the whole sector. And this is what's going to summarize information and maybe they are going to hi highlight uh, factors that belong to my pestle, political, economic, and so on. So it's interesting to access to these reports. If you can download the report, see the, there are many, many, Ali Market, Ostelea. These kind of reports can be very useful. You can find hostel tour, Hostelea, there are many sources, there are many reports. In many cases, you need to register to download the full report. There's no problem. You can use a mail and you can register. Um, more things. This is in Spain, but you can use ba Comunidad Valenciana. And you can do the same for the, the Valencian community, specific reports in our region, and also more specifically in Benidorm. And you can find sometimes, it's not always, but sometimes different reports at different levels that can be very useful for your, for your study. So we have almost seen all the different um, sections. The last one is books and handbooks. And we are going to use books and handbooks for a different issue. Let's go into go for, to Google, and I'm going to use to explain you. We are going to see this in the catalogo of the University of Alicante. Catalogo UA. And we can go to the library, catalog, 
if you want to see it in English, I think somewhere we can change the language or it's not possible. Well, if not possible, we do it in Spanish. And now we are going to see, for example, studies or books and handbooks that are related to the keywords or the key marketing concepts that we are going to work. Remember, customer experience was one of, the, of them, customer experience. And we click on search. And here there is all the information for that is available at the University of Alicante. But we can filter a little bit. We are going to filter, for example, by language, only those in English, and for example, by type of research. I'm going to select only books in Spanish, libros, books, and in English. Apply filter, and it's going to reduce a little bit because there are too many thousands. And I'm going to order by not by relevance, but by date, from more recent to more to older. So we see there are books that are from the 2021 that are very, very updated. So we can find some that is interesting for us. Maybe that is very related to the customer experience. We can do one thing that is interesting, for example, to put comas before and after. That means that it's going to find customer experience, but, but both work together. It's going to filter a little bit more. We can jump. If we don't find in the first pages, we can change the order. That can be the case. Sometimes can be the case. So we are going to change the order instead of ordering from recent to older by, by relevance, for example. And by relevance, we see that, for example, delivering a world-class customer experience, let's say that's there, transform customer experience, how to achieve customer success. Well, this seems to be a book. And we can check, for example, click here and open. As you see, we can read this is an online book, and we can go to these websites to read the book online. We can come here, download each of the chapters, for example, how they measure customer experience, all the things we need, or we can download by chapter or the full book on PDF, for example. This is interesting for all the books that are online, available online. We can see also another one, the concept that is customer journey, journey map. And we can see, for example, books, books like Customer Experience for Dummies, that could be interesting. The Customer Experience book, how to design, measure, and improve customer. This, is, this seems very, very interesting. This, this one, 2016. So we open and we go to the website where the web, where the word, the book is. And as I told you, we can download the full book by using our um, by using our uh, our email address and, and and password, or we can read on. As you see, we can access to the book online without any problem. Okay. Okay. So once we you know how to look for this kind of information, we are going to see the last part. In the last part, remember. In the last section, we were related, the, the, we, we were supposed to find a study like our study, but academic studies, studies, professional or academic studies that give me the detail on how they measure the key concepts. In this case, customer experience, customer journey, or customer journey map. How to find this information? We are going to use a different tool. There are many tools, but we are going to use a, an easy one that is. Google Scholar, or in Spanish, Google Academy. So let's go to jump to Google Scholar and to see a brief and easy um, search for you to have an example. So um, first, of course, of all, we put Scholar. 
we click on Google Scholar and we are in. So now it's, it's, it's time to, to play with keywords to find usual uh, uh, studies similar to mine. If we say, for example, customer experience, experience, hotel, fame, for example, we can see if there are studies related to this concept in the case of Spain. A framework, the influence of social, maybe there are some that are interesting. Customer, and what about if I put customer journey also? If I put customer journey, is going to find a study that uh, analyzes both concepts. Environmental sustainability and hospitality customer experience seems very interesting. Digital customer, there are many studies. As you see, this is different than the traditional Google. If we want to access to the, to the uh, articles, the only thing we need to do, for example, is to click on the right button and to open a new window. If we do so, we don't lose this search. We can click here and we can see the study, sorry. Here, we can, if we click here, open a new window and we can see the study. We can see the study and we can, or we can download it in PDF. We can re read, read all the study, sorry. We can download it, we can read it. And if we think it can be related to my, to my study, I keep it. If not, I don't use it. And imagine that you like this first study. If this study, how to cite this study? How to put it in your reference? You click in CITAR, cite, and you API, American Psychology Association, you can select, copy, and paste in your work. Apart from that, if you are interested in this study, maybe you are interested in 12 studies that are citing this study. Citado por 12, cited by 12. So you open in a new window and we can see the 12 studies that are citing the study you like, because maybe one of these could be interesting. And you can change the different words here to find as many studies as possible. The more uh, current, the more, uh, uh, the more recent, the better, of course. But Well, you need to find Use uh, change the different words, Hotel the Spain, Benidorm, maybe see if there are there is some studies in Benidorm. It can be the case or not. You can eliminate one, for example. You can keep whatever. You can play with the, the, the different uh, keywords to try to uh, make the most of your search. So to summarize, uh, for the first section is necessary to find information about the company history, billing, location, competitors, etc. For the second section, it's necessary to find information for the pestle. And you need to find interesting um, documents and sources for each of the different uh, the, the factors, political, economic, social, technological, environmental, and legal. And finally, you need to find as many studies as possible regarding customer experience and satisfaction of uh, uh, your study of uh, your sector. It's not necessary that it's in Spain or in Benidorm. It can be in any other countries. We can benchmark, we can use these uh, studies as benchmark to develop our own studies. So I hope this video is useful for you. And we are going to continue with the videos uh, of the following sections of the presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.